How do I look on the camera? Do I look nice? Do I look young and... <laughs> Fabulous. I do, thank you. This is Kellyanne, a former It girl who's been turning heads for 50 years. The summer of love is born. 70s was the period when it got promiscuous, not the 60s. Very few people actually had girlfriends. We all moved around, and I loved it. <laughs> Hello. You're so elegant. Thank you. What is your name, please? I'm Kellyanne. Kellyanne? Are you a flirt? How outrageous I'm flirting with you. Haven't you noticed? What's wrong with a girl? What do you do in life? I'm a retired lady. Are you retired? Yeah, but I'm nearly 70. Did you drink from the fountain of youth? Yes, I think so. You must have done. <laughs> I have a grandson. We're at the bonfire party and he came up to me. He said, Tom says, Gran, that you're a gilf. So I said, what's a gilf? I said, Granny, I'd like to. You little devils. You little devils. And so you retired from... What did you used to do? I was a bunny. You were a bunny? Yeah. Oh, well, I never. As in, uh, as in, uh... As in Playboy bunny. As yeah. in bunny dip. Oh, you know the bunny dip. I know. The bunny dip is legendary. Yeah. It's a proper full length, full costume. You feel sexy and you feel like you're in some great Hollywood movie, uh, musical or something. Forty years later, this may be ambitious of me. I was probably the only girl out of the whole of the London Playboy Club that actually lived in the mansion in LA for three months. And I'd met Hefner, who was never attracted to me. I'm just not his type, I'm too boyish. Oh, I love it. No it's in your face, no hair all over your dinner. I had a few dates with Jack Nicholson. What's he like? Oh, Jack was great fun in those days. Um, Peter Cook, who's adorable. Who else? Jimmy Page, the guitarist with Led Zeppelin. So what are you looking for? I suppose in a way, you know, I've met people who do the most boring jobs, but have the most interesting hobbies. Like a man that's been daring. Like a daring man, because I'm a daring girl. Where's my date? I'm moment. starting to think you're my date. <laughs> do you smoke? Yeah. Breakfast is a cup of tea and a fag. Oh, me too. Oh, I love a oh, Give me five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm really very proud of myself because the last week I've not had a cigarette after 10 o'clock. Too many cigarettes before I try to go to sleep keep me awake. Yeah, you know, most days at 9 o'clock, I was not done. Go to bed. Do you go to bed at 9 o'clock? Yeah, it's over like, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Bloody hell, you're Not boring. every night. No, that's good to know. Yeah. Do you like to go to the uh, cinema? Yeah, no, I go out, out. What do you go out to do? I go to the casino. I do roulette. Well, actually, it's funny you should mention that because I used to be a, a, a bunny. Shut up. Oh, no, I'm not going to shut up. I was a bunny. Really? And I was a blackjack dealer. I worked at a Playboy Club. What else? Uh, as a busboy and in a cocktail bar. When Did I was you? 18 years old. Oh, isn't that funny? I could have met you there. Stephen, I could have met you there. When I look back at those photos, or some of those photos, and I think, God, you were lovely. Youth is lovely. I hardly ever see any young people who I don't think are beautiful. It's the skin, it's the whole thing. What year were you there? 73, 74. It is kind of daunting losing your face and losing your looks. I might be a while. No matter how much you tell yourself, you're fine with that. Most women are not fine with that. That's why they're injecting and cutting open, and my God, the temptation is constantly looming. And I want someone that's gonna make me oblivious to this, to not care about that. That's a pretty big. That's asking a lot from someone. My grandson's 20 and I tell him everything. He's my best friend. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and I seek his advice, and if I don't take it, I always make regret not <laughs> taking it. Does he put you on a bit of straight and narrow? Does he, like he my does. daughter does? Who does? Hmm. Oh, are you sorry to disturb you? I tell you what, it's, it's 
Yeah. More rabbit and Sainsbury's. Me? There's no cold out world in there, Joey. You're bloody kidding me. Listen, he hasn't stopped. But that's good, though. Yeah. Have you got a lot in common? Even though I don't appear to have that many interests with Steve, and I'm really enjoying myself. Good. Because opposite attracts. You are a striking couple. He's a very sexy-looking guy, isn't he? He is. He's like a rock star. Very like a rock star, yeah. A rock star, and he's a beautiful girl. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.